Luke 22, 54 through 62. Then they seized him and led him away, bringing him into the high priest's house. But Peter was following at a distance. When they had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and sat down together, Peter sat among them. Then a servant girl, seeing him in the firelight, stared at him and said, This man also was with him. But he denied it, saying, Woman, I do not know him. A little later, someone else on seeing him said, You also are one of them. But Peter said, Man, I am not. Then about an hour later, still another kept insisting, Surely this man also was with him, for he is a Galilean. But Peter said, Man, I do not know what you are talking about. At that moment, while he was still speaking, the cock crowed. The Lord turned and looked at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said to him, Before the cock crows today, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. Hi, I'm George Branson. I'd like to tell you a story about how God is involved in our lives, how he's ever-present in our lives, but he's, he's not really ever-present in our hearts and minds, and how he has a way of drawing us back to him when we do kind of get distracted. In 2016, when a group from our church and a few other Christians traveled to the Holy Land, we were Partway through our trip, we'd already been to the Garden of Gethsemane where Judas had singled Jesus out and they had taken him away to Caiaphas' house to question him. Later on in our journey, we were at what's believed to be Caiaphas' house. We'd already gone through the uh, subterranean area of the house and there were rooms in that subterranean area that could only be described as holding cells. And it's believed that Jesus was kept in one of those cells while awaiting his questioning. When we were done with that area, we moved to the courtyard area adjacent to where Jesus was questioned. A group of our people gathered together and one of our members began to read aloud that verse of, from Luke, reaccounting Peter's denial. And he, when he reached the verse, that contained the third denial, the man, I don't know what you're talking about part, in the field near where we were standing, a rooster began to crow here in the 21st century. This was, in my opinion, God's way of letting us know he's ever present. He is God with us. Uh, he, like he said in Matthew, he's, that I will be with you always until the end of the world. And he's ever present guiding us and helping us along the way.